So I've been sitting here talking up the storm and painting, not looking at the camera at all. I guess I didn't hit record, I'm not sure. Anyway, in the event that I did not hit record, I guess I'll go over it again. Um, I'm using a uh, number 8 brush and a number 6 brush, flat. Both are flat brushes. My color for my sky is raw umber, titanium white, um, ultramarine blue and yellow ochre in varying amounts because I want to keep variety of, of those values and, and hues going through the sky. <clears throat> the fun part is now I'm cutting into all of these branches as well as the distant bank of trees. The sky itself isn't going to be terribly dramatic. I want to focus most of the drama probably in this area here. This will be focal area. It was something I had mentioned um, which probably didn't get on to, didn't get on camera, but I, I, I know, I know a lot of painters like to, uh, use a palette knife to, to, to mix a pile of a certain color on the palette and then dip into it with the brush. It's easier on your brush if you do that, because then you're just painting with your brush rather than mixing with your brush. Um, but personally, unless it's a large painting, in which case I need to mix quite a bit, I find that uh, I will easily overmix my colors on the palette. And then by the time I've mixed them on the palette, even carefully, and I throw my, put my brush into it and then apply it to the canvas, I tend to overmix them too much. So I just, you know, this is a small painting, this is a small area that I really need these colors for. So I tend to just use the brush for, uh, for mixing as well as painting. Switch back to my smaller one here. Mix up a little more pink. Painting like this, this is a fun job because it doesn't take long before you've got a sky in place. Now the temptation is just to take that paint and go dab, 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 until it's, you fill up the space. Well, that's a dangerous thing to do because you lose that variety of value and color in each stroke again. Am I still on? Yep.
I like this better. Strokes, you know, they're still coming, they're still going on there fairly quickly, but they're they're just more direct. Okay, I can get rid of that. The height of this round was going to compete with this. My 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 background bush is going to go a little bit higher here. Let's see if I can make this a little easier for you to see. You get a few strokes on that have more ultramarine blue, and then you get a few strokes that are a little bit more yellow ochre, and you get a few strokes that are a little more raw umber. Subtle, but nice variety. This is another sky where I'm laying a lot of the strokes adjacent with each or to each other, but also overlapping. Okay, we're back to the little brush now. Sorry, I'm not doing much chatting right now, but I really can't think of much to say, and there's nothing worse than somebody who talks constantly when they have nothing to say.
couple of little voids in the bush here and there. They might stay, they might get changed, but this just reminds me to introduce a bit of sky, you know, you, you see through the trees a little bit. In nature, so there's no harm to do, no harm in doing that here. My easel is on casters, so I can move it around slightly to remove glare while I'm painting. It's very handy actually in the studio to be able to do that. I just hope that I don't end up moving it in such a way that uh, you're not able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to move that one too. It's looking too much like a saw blade with teeth all going one way. Okay, sky's in. I keep fiddling, things get weak. That is my mantra. Uh, not to say a few things might not change. Um, they will, they always do. But the, the, the bulk of it is there. Next I'm going to work on the bush as we move closer and closer to the viewer. I'll just take a break here. I'll just give you a close up. Whoops, so you can see that there is variety, subtle variety, but variety within all of those grayish strokes. There's also glare. <laughs> I think I'm going to uh, save the bush till tomorrow, so I'll just uh, I'll throw this out there for you today. Have a good day everybody. Thank you for watching.